welcome into the Flip on Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star, and today we're going to be doing the second part of a three-part haul series from our recent thrifting trip to Salvation Army's on Half Off Day. If you missed the first video, I talked a little bit more extensively about the pros and cons kind of, of wholesale versus thrifting uh, one-offs at thrift stores and traveling around to garage sales and church sales. And I also showed off some men's shirts, specifically pearl snap shirts that you should be looking for when you're outsourcing. All good things that you can be getting if you get the cost of goods is low enough for you to flip in your stores that are popular, that um, can fetch you a pretty good price. Some are bread and butter, some are a little bit higher. Um, if you didn't see yesterday's video, I told you guys we got 30 items for $114.72, $3.82 average. That's pretty high, but we did come home with several pairs of jeans and shoes, which always incur a higher cost of goods. And the jeans and shoes will be featured in the third and final video in this little tiny haul series. Today, we're going to be looking at men's fishing shirts. These are money and they move quickly. The majority of fishing shirts, specifically Columbia PFG, that Keith and I have ever listed in our store never last more than a week. Uh, we had one that was like a size small that took like two and a half weeks to sell. Size small takes a little bit longer. But these fishing shirts typically will flip as fast as you can list them. And even in the winter, because believe it or not, down here in Florida, it is like 75 degrees. Next week, they're predicting it's going to be up towards 80 degrees. So people down here are still fishing. People in warmer climates are still going out on their boats and they need their fishing shirts. And don't forget, on the other side of the world, if you offer global shipping or you do international shipping, um, the other side of the world, they're opposite of us. So when it's winter here, it's summer like in Australia. So don't be afraid to list, you know, all the things all the time. I tell you guys that a lot, but list all the things all the time because somewhere is a different climate or a different season than where you're at and people are looking for these items. And if you have the mindset of I'm going to list everything all the time and other people don't, you're going to be the one that's making the sales on these um, fishing shirts and like the, sorry guys, but the white the um, winter coats and things like that. So list all the things all the time. And if you find these fishing shirts, absolutely definitely pick them up when you're out sourcing. Now we would find these once in a while when we lived in Pittsburgh. One here, one there, maybe a couple a month. Obviously in Florida where people are um, living in a warmer climate, more people fish and we're near the water here near the Gulf in Tampa, um, you know, the donations that come in from folks around here are going to be a lot of these. But no matter where you live, if you run across these, pick them up. So the best ones I find that flip the fastest and for the most money, um, anywhere from if you have like a small one that's plain, it'll be like 18 to 20 bucks. If you have a double XL, you can get 25 or 30. Some of these come um, not plain with like graphics on them, like fish all over prints, uh, boats all over prints. If you find the graphic ones, always grab those because those go for uh, 30 and up depending on the size. Always be sure you comp and don't just go off what I'm saying in videos because um, things can change. People do race to the bottom and the price of things can go up. Um, the market depicts the value of things. So always make sure you're comping. If you um, need help with comping, let me know down in the comments or join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Tag me in there. Ask the other resellers in there. It's a really great group of people who are very, very nice and love to be helpful. And someone will help you learn how to comp. Um, the other thing I would suggest doing, um, like off topic here, but real quick, is you know, once every three to six months or so, if you have older items that are sitting in your store, you know how you, you always go through and you look at them again and you're like, are these pictures good? Can I redo these pictures? Can I redo the keywords and the titles? All those little things that you look at. Make sure you're also recomping. Um, recently, I have lowered all of our silver jeans that have been sitting around for a while and our Miss Me jeans and our True Religion jeans. I used to start all of those around $50 and take a best offer, 40 or 45. Unfortunately, you know, that race to the bottom and the market depicts the value. So I've lowered all of our silver, Miss Me True Religion, um, down to about 40, and now I'm taking best offers of 30 and 35, but they're moving. 
so they're not sitting anymore. So that's just a small piece of advice. Always make sure you comp, and if you have older items, recomp them once in a while, because things change. It's not always sad, it's not always a race to the bottom. Sometimes, like when you get closer to the holidays, Christmas items will actually um, go up and be worth more, or if you list something and there's thousands of them and then you recheck and you're like one of five you can probably raise the price um just some advice so let's get into the haul this is a columbia this is the best like i said the best ones i found that go for the best money and move the quickest they will have this on the back pfg uh performance fishing gear and they will have a vent so look for these vents see what i mean the shirt lifts up in the back so air can get through and keep people nice and cool while they're outside on the water fishing. And when you list them, you can call them vented fishing shirts. Um, those are good keywords to use. That's what folks look for. So this is just a pink one, a size large, and it was four bucks. Absolutely worth it. These shirts are fire. They're money. We found so many. I've never seen this many in <laughs> one spot before, but I guess it's because we live in Florida now. We're going to find as many in, Pitch in Pittsburgh. This is another good brand to look for. Real Legends, R-E-E-L, like a fishing reel. There you go. This one was $2.50. And medium. It's just green. Now this one's vent is a little different. It's a slit down the back instead of the two slits here horizontal. This one has a vertical slit, but it's still considered a vented fishing shirt. And this one is always also a snap button. I find that those are popular too. They're not like pearl snaps or anything, but they're snap. So you can use that as a keyword, snap button. Lots of guys like their snap button shirts. This is another Columbia, extra large. This one was $3.50 after the half off sale. You can see the vent, you can see the PFG. Now this one has Hoover Treated Wood Products Inc. printed on it. So we'll see what that does. Sometimes when they, whoop, I have no sense of coordination, sorry guys. Uh, sometimes when they have stuff like that printed on there, it'll raise the price. Sometimes it does nothing and sometimes it can make it less valuable. We risk it. Here's a short sleeve green one. Uh, this one is an extra large. You can see the vents and the PFJ. And they almost always have, the Columbia ones have like the Velcro pockets, but don't use the word Velcro. Um, that's a surefire way to get in trouble. Hook and loop. 350. Yeah, Velcro is very proprietary about their brand and they do not want you using that word. Next up, we have a double XL. I love seeing these really big sizes like this because they will fetch more money. Absolutely, you can list these at a higher amount. This one is a short sleeve yellow. Again, they will always, always have. Boy, my sense of direction is really bad. Here, <laughs> there it is. They will always have the PFG and the Vintage. This one has Salt Island printed on it, and it was $2.50. Next up, we have another, <laughs> I'm telling you, we hit the jackpot on the Columbia Vintage Fishing Shirts. Um, double XL. This one was $4. This one has a gator. So that to me looks like the gator from, um, it's a sporting, I'm such a nerd, but they have a team, the gators or something down here. And the back has the vented and the PFJ. I don't know sports guys, but I'll figure it out. I'll be able to Google it. I recognize the gator. I just can't remember the name because I, my head is full of books and nerd stuff. Um, this one had no size tag, so I mean, maybe we should have put it back, but it's got the gator on it, and it's a really nice red, and it looked big. So what, I mean, I mean, it looks big. See it? 
So what we'll do is we will measure the chest and disclose in the listing that didn't have size. Um, we have a standard US size chart that we'll use and we'll say, you know, based on the whatever X amount measurement, it's a standard US size, whatever. This one was $5. And it's a nice red with the gator on it. And then we have a medium yellow with Henry Real Estate Advisors. So that might lower the price a little bit just because it's like a specific business. But on the back, it has this really nice pirate sword, uh, crossbones and skull swords. So one of the shells thing. Oh, and that one was $4. And then last but not least, this is a Tom Miami, Tom Miami, I don't know. You guys can read it and decide how to pronounce it for yourselves. It's by Columbia, but it's got this extra tag up here. And it was $3.50. It's a nice teal collar. It is a long sleeve one. Um, it is also, this is something you want to look for on all Columbia items that you source. The Omni Shade makes it worth a little bit more. People actually search for Omni Shade as a keyword for in their Columbia clothing. So make sure you put that in the title. Omni Shade, it is a good keyword. And that is the last of the fishing shirts. So we got nine of them and um, we'll get them up probably by the middle of next week and hopefully they'll start moving pretty quickly. Um, have you guys ever sourced or flipped fishing shirts or vented fishing shirts? Did you know about them before today? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down there as well. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link down below. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. It really helps the channel so, so much. And until next time, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.